Hello and good morning. So today we have a bit of a boss gauntlet for another one of Cow's creations here. So this one I called the God Slayer. Um, I actually have just put it together as uh, as it was in this video. I haven't gone and tested it. Haven't gone to see how it performs. I figured it was best to go into this thing blind. And uh, yeah, um, from the basic setup, I'm gonna assume it's something along the lines of a fast moving uh, flanker. Uh, seems to be very, very, very confident in its speed, because that is not a lot of armor on that thing. But, uh, alright, so first things first, I'm pretty sure, maybe like 99% sure, that this thing was was uh, made to, to be the uh, main weakness that this thing has. So let's see if it can uh, beat the Matrix Overdrive. So, uh, 11 of them will be random, but I do want to have it start off with this. Oh. Okay, well, it seems to be getting getting some of its flanks in, but it's got to stop doing those hard landings if it wants to make it. We appear to have a malfunction somewhere. Oh, no, wait, there we go. Interesting. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, that's one life. And as before, each one can only be used once. So let's uh, roll this up. See what we get. So it's got to win the next eleven fights to actually win this thing. So team thirty-five, position one. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Screw this. One, two, three. This one. So it's fighting the murder.exe, which I guess is fitting. Because that thing, uh, that thing ended up killing off uh, one of the previous bosses too, so let's see how it does against missiles. I assume it should be able to dodge them pretty darn well. And I think I matched all the AI stuff, like, to the pixel, so... It should be all good here. Huh, interesting. Actually swapping between the two. Wow, that thing is really good at dodging. Alright, nice. Uh, it doesn't appear to be able to function very well in that arena map, so that might be its bizarre, like, specific kryptonite. Nice. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna very handily beat the murder dot. You robotic dick! You just beat him and stood on his head. Alright. I see how it is. Hey, this is gonna go. Confident bastard. Getting all cocky over here. Alright, so looks like we have 19-3. Alright, so we've got Collective. Hope we're finding the Dumbo. Alright. Um, yeah, this should be a pretty easy win for him. Yeah, I figured this uh, random thing might work out pretty darn well, given uh, how much stuff's changing recently. It's actually funny, this thing is pretty similar to this... Uh, uh, to this uh, one I was using in uh, Nexus for a while. This uh, specifically, this um, this machine gun shotgun combo was fantastic in Nexus. So there we go. Mark that one down. What are we doing next? Like we have twenty-one one. So 21 and position one, so we're fighting Leos. Leos Klein and the Ethermaster. Still haven't made Doppel Leos. Should probably consider doing that at some point. Oh well. And so I'm basically just freely going back and deleting the old ones now. Uh, might as well uh, might as well remake some of these. Mostly because a lot of uh, AI tricks have started coming out uh, since uh, Cow started testing these and since Azor started 
Uh, well, we've been going over some of Azor's older stuff there and everything. There's, uh, there's a bunch of little nuances that were missed. Right, yeah, so his turning radius isn't even close right now. Oh. Man, this must be just, like, downright frustrating from his end. Alright. That's five wins. Uh, if you're wondering about, about the music, by the way, uh, it is uh, Looming Crisis uh, from uh, Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Uh, basically the uh, sort of side boss theme. Specifically there's a... let's see, one, two, three. Um, there's uh, these five bosses that eventually all start like coming together for one big uh, big fight in the very severe post game. Okay, yeah, this should be no challenge whatsoever. See where it goes. But yeah, there's this. Uh, honestly, it's uh, one of the coolest uh, coolest things about FFTA2. Like the side plots are ridiculously good. Honestly, I think the side plots are better than the actual, like, main story and all that. <laughs> yeah, this thing should have absolutely no chance. I mean, it's basically a joke, AC. And let's go ahead and start rolling up the next one, I think. Oh, it looks like we're finding another collective one. Oh, it looks like it's over on position four. Ooh, send shutter. All right, maybe it has a chance. Seems unlikely. <laughs> yeah. So the the one where this particular boss theme comes from, like I said, they're basically super bosses, but. All things considered, they're characters you can make yourself. There's nothing, like, terribly impossible about them or anything. They're just ridiculously high-level versions of specific classes. With all kinds of bizarre gimmicks to them. And just extreme cheesiness. It's like one guy, I believe, he can, like... I think there's something like he can... I think he mixes Illusion and, um... An ability that lets him cast and attack at the same time. So he basically hits everybody on the map. Hits them with, uh, well, Illusion is just basically a friggin' smart bomb for the entire map, and then he just, like, runs up and double attacks them at the same time somehow. I forget exactly what his, what his setup was, but I just remember looking at the, this thing and thinking, oh my god, this is friggin' the stuff of nightmares. Alright, let's see, Team 4, Position 5. Did that seriously roll the one empty slot? No, no it didn't. Uh, looks like it's fighting the Peace Walker. Alright. Yeah, this thing is pretty darn good. Alright, started burning a little bit. It's charging, and it actually ate some mines. Okay, there was a chance, but wasn't gonna do it. All right, next step. And so we got thirty-one and five. 8, 37, 36, 35, 34, 32, or 33, 32, 31. And position 5. Ooh, caffeinator. Alright, cool.
Okay, no, yeah, that thing's definitely gonna win. Mine can't even get a lock on here. Okay. Well, we can definitely beat that without any problems. Fantastic. Alright, so that leaves four potentials left. Alright, 13, 1. Actually, it's kind of funny. Oh. Trigger 99. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna go well for him. You know, of, of all the weird stuff, like, speaking of FFTA2 and just, like, Final Fantasy stuff and strategy games in general, yes, I know, that is a weird tangent to go on, uh, especially under these circumstances, but, um, yeah, no, I just found out that one of those apparently had a tactics over reference in there. Like, as in they transferred over one of the bosses, and it's probably the one that pretty much nobody ended up fighting for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. Like, I don't think very many people went down to the, the very bottom of the 100, uh, 100 floor dungeon there to fight a really disappointing boss. But apparently that's the one they decided to use as a reference. And um, I think it was like 14 or 15 or one of them. One of the online ones. Honestly, it kind of looked like the usual dull MMO stuff. You just like sit here and throw varying colored balls at things. But, oh well. It's just not my taste. Can't knock it if somebody likes it. Alright, so 37 1 is the next one. Alright, on Rolly, I don't see this thing winning, but whatever. Give it a go. <laughs> I'd be very amazed if this thing even stood the slightest chance. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even a fight. Like next up we have twelve two. Yeah. Speaking of more Final Fantasy stuff that shouldn't have happened. Hmm. All right, so we have the Nexus Wildcat. That's gonna do here. Probably just die in uh, a very unfortunate death. Might as well just roll the next one because this is not gonna last. Um, then again, if he's gonna waste all of his shots. Yeah, no, never mind. He's. Wildcat's getting roasted. Or broached. Might be a, might be a broached Bobcat. Served at a wedding. Nobody gets that reference. Oh well. <laughs> was it even a bobcat? Feels like it's, it was something else. I think it was like supposed to be... I don't know, it's roasted some kind of cat or something. Ocelot! There we go, it was an ocelot. That's what it was. I'm just derping it up. That's what's going on here. I derp a lot of the time. Alright, let's see. Who's the last one going to be? As uh, Wildcat's done here. The 26-3 is going to be the last one. Alright. 
And which position was it? Three? Okay, so he's right in the pink shirt. I uh, should actually have a decent chance, all things considered. I mean, he doesn't overheat very easily, he might well be immune to it. He's been able, basically able to survive two full-on things with double flamethrowers and napalm rockets, so... I don't think the uh, shoddy and MGs are gonna do it. Uh, hitting, however, is a bit of another story. Yeah, the friggin' uh, turn optional. I was... Here's the thing. When um, when Azur was telling me about how much of, of a friggin' uh, turning meta there is, I was hoping to try and avoid putting it on everyone, but I think I'm gonna have to start putting it on everyone. Just because, well, look at this. I'm getting outturned like nothing. And alright, there we go. We have a winner. Just out of curiosity, let's see. Uh, where is it? Where the hell did I put this thing? Oh, murky waters, right? No. Hang on, that's not one of them. Ungood donkey, that's the one. Alright. Curious, was that first one a fluke, or is this consistent? The thing is, um, um, aside from very specific circumstances, generally speaking, on most maps, the AI will not be able to dodge the first, uh, first initial, uh, rocket volley. And, sorry, I had the fast-forward button held down, which actually, uh, causes it to slow down if frame skip is activated. Alright, so it's completely roasting. Uh, it's able- no, it isn't charging, okay. Uh, thing is, yeah, it does seem to be able to outspeed the Selenas, and then eventually has a hard landing. I don't know why it's having hard landings against this thing. Hmm. Alright. Just to be absolutely certain, let's give it one more, um... One more run here. This isn't a, hey, let's watch your thing break type situation. This is more of a... I'm legitimately curious whether... You know, what's going on here. Because I could be completely wrong, I thought that this thing was... Everything about this thing should be an absolute counter to the Matrix Overdrive. Like, right there. Okay, it managed to dodge the initial volley, but it still ended up taking some. And, yeah, I think it's just the combination of the LX and double napalms that... It's just too much for most things to take. And I think there may be an AI script in there that basically tells them, look, you're in a fight now, so just turn and fight. Because it seems like a lot of times when something is hit by a Selena off to the side, they tend to, like, run forward. Alright, it just barely dodged that one. <laughs> And there's some awkward dodging. It's a very effective flanker, though, I have to say. Alright. Managed to actually overheat the overdrive. It's a little bit awkward to say. And I think as an actual last fight, we're gonna have to go put this against, um... his other previous one here, because that one I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's able to beat the Overlord. This thing's a hard counter to it in almost every way. Dang. Alright. Yeah, it had some pretty decent opportunities there, so I'm gonna say that's fairly consistent. Um, let's, um, yeah, let's go against the next one, then. Was he in here? No. I legitimately do not remember which one of these teams he was in. Party party? Yeah, there we go. Actual last fight.
Oof. That's some punishment, but I was able to take it. Truth be told, I think this thing, um, this thing would func would function really well, um, with, uh, instead of having, uh, napalms, which, okay, the napalms are really good for shutdowns, but I kind of wonder, uh, if it would do better with, uh, high-effect ECMs. This is getting plenty of overheat from the shotgun. As I recall, this one's just really good at it on its own. Alright, so there we go. It can beat that thing with, uh, relative ease. Anyway, uh, that's that. Um... Yeah, let me know if you have any other requests. Uh, there may not be one of these for a day or two. Kind of off doing stuff, so either way. See you then.